Okay guys, welcome back to another Wizard101 tutorial. In this episode, we are going to cover something amazing called gardening. If you notice in the last video, these guys were here. Now, gardening in Wizard101, I just gotta tell you, is the key to becoming a rich guy. It is the key to getting lots of this stuff. Seriously. Because of gardening, I was able to go from small from a smaller house to a bigger and bigger house until you get the one that you see today. So, uh, let's get started. So, in gardening, you get a bunch of magic plants from killing things, and they demand stuff from you. The plants say, yo, I want junk, and they growl at you too, because they're mean. And so, when you get them, there will be a seed and they will not have annoying things around them. They will just kind of sit there and be a seed. And then they'll grow into a young plant and then they get to this stage where things begin to attack them. And so, when they're at this point, all you gotta do is cast a spell and solve your issues. Like this. There we go. Oh no, there's more guys. Anyway, so... With gardening... It's mainly the upkeep, and if you play the game a lot, it's, it's very easy to upkeep on them. You just stop by like every day, zap them a little bit, and feed them. And then your pet, your plants will do their thing, and start giving you stuff. <clears throat> I mean, it takes it. It takes them a little bit, but once once they start harvesting things for you, your your plants will do you pretty well. You the spells that you get for for gardening though, you have to buy them, like not with crowns or anything. You you just buy them with gold from various guys around the spiral. Typically, they're in the hub of the world. So keep that in mind if you go into gardening that you will have to upkeep them with these spells and these spells can be pretty expensive. See, the guys agree with me? They like to yell at me. But yeah, and then you kind of just run around zapping them with whatever the icon says. And then eventually you can get them bigger so they have a radius to them like this sun spell I could get an upgraded version of it so it has a radius to it but I don't feel like spending money because I've been lazy so it's a the process can take a little bit of time and it can be annoying but trust me when I say it's worth it because the money I get from harvesting my plants it literally was able to get me this entire place and it's given me so much money that I actually don't really know what to do with it all because the bazaar funds me also know that after the stage of life where they can give you things which would be around this stage this guy's still young around this stage of life there's one more stage where they give you one final thing and then they die and that's when you can get a lot of good stuff so that's the stage you want to get to for harvesting. And if you want to do it for show, you just kind of leave them that way, let them die on their own, and then revive them. So I'll kind of let you see. See, I get a little bit of money, and if I come back and do this every single day, it will add up. And, I'm, and with a bunch of plants, you will get a ton of stuff. So it's really worth it. It's an armada clock. Uh, planting. And all the plants have silly names too, like they're all puns really. <laughs> they probably had a lot of fun making these names. But yeah. So it's all about that stuff and your plants can die if you don't take care of them like from those wasps. In which case the only thing you can do is kill them with this spell or bring them back to life with this spell. And, uh, I believe with the quest you get these two spells for free, so that's good. <coughs> uh, excuse me. 
But yeah. It's another short episode, but that's really all you I have to say. Here, you can see me cast this spell. It's a sucker up. There you go. You can see a very high spell in action, and now my plants will probably die. Oh well. My energy comes back. But yeah, that is really gardening. That's all there is to it. It's just upkeeping guys and harvesting them and you get rich. You can also do this for fishing and I might do a fishing tutorial too but I haven't really gotten into it. I have to experiment with it more to really be able to tell you guys how you fish. Anyway, that's it for this episode of Wizard 101. It's another short one. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.